Today, we're gonna be breaking the S90. We're gonna take the rear bumper, the front bumper, uh, maybe the side skirts. Uh, we're gonna take the AC, electric windows, power, locking system. We're gonna take the cruise control and a few other things. So, if you wanna see that, uh, hang man. <laughs> Oh wow, look at that. That is all that's left of the engine mount. It is completely destroyed. It has just gone to dust. Look at this. It is completely gone. Okay, now it's time to remove this door panel and it's quite easy, nothing really too difficult at all. I believe anyone can do it. You just have a panel up here. And since we're not gonna use this door panel, I'm not gonna be uh, too careful with it. But you have two Torx 25 up here. So just remove those. And then you have three little locking brackets underneath here, look like that. Well, you should have three, but on this one it's only two. And then you just pull it out. And you want to make sure you keep this one. So on the speakers, you have these red things. You just turn them 90 degrees and pull them out. I don't even think you have to pull them out all the way, but I'll, yeah, I just do that.
This one is quite easy. You just pull it off, pull it upwards. Make sure it doesn't get stuck though. And there you go. On these tiny ones, you just start from the inside and bend them out. But you gotta be very, very careful. Bend these, you're, you're not gonna get them back. You just want to check that's still straight, and that's still straight, so you can put this back on if you'd like. When you get the handles off, you want to make sure you take off the, the front screw of the handle first because that one is the most likely to break. Uh, so let's say you're at a junkyard, you don't want to waste your time, right? So start with the hardest one. Uh, and if that one winds up breaking, then you can just move on to the next car, right? So I always start with that one. Uh, it's always the front one that gives you problems. I've noticed that on these uh, 960 handles, they are of considerable better quality than on the like on the 740 uh, those are horrible I had to change uh, at three of the handles I had to repair uh, because the screws just broke right off but anyway let's get going and we'll try this one and see if it comes off Not great. I'll we'll get the uh, the rear of the screws, and it's basically the same thing here. I have a number ten millimeter bolt right here. And you also have this tiny one, the Phillips. I guess you call them. And before we can get the handle out, we got a unhook it from the uh, cables and stuff. So you start right here. This thing holds a uh, plastic guard in here. Just want to remove that. Get rid of that. And then you want to unhook the handle. It's quite apparent when you look inside here. Okay, now we continue to uh, disassemble the door and we're gonna get rid of the uh, locking mechanism. Just start right here. And it's Torx 40. We also have a T25 right here. all the wires off and stuff and then you have these two t25 that holds the retainer for the uh, the, the lock itself so it looks like this so you have the two screws right there and this one holds the the keyhole Careful. I have to break stuff here. Once you get the lock out, you can you see it's kind of a uh, slots in there.
And I usually like to assemble everything so I know how it goes back together. <laughs> And if you, if you want to get this window out, just get some soapy water. On the back of the door here, and there's a 10 millimeter bolt at the bottom here for the rail, which the window goes inside. If you take that off and pull the rail out, you can get the wires out much easier. for today thank you guys for watching if you liked it please give it a thumbs up if you're new to the channel please give it a subscription it's mostly old boxy bobble stuff if you're into that you're in the right place uh, until next time have a good one and I will see you in the next clip how do you get hey